Hey, Doug, what's up? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Uh, tough, tough day. Tough day. Um, a couple things, a few things. One, that's the way the ball bounces. I remember, I think it was Tart, our defensive guy in the last Super Bowl. Interception to him right in his hands. He dropped it. We would have won that game. That was the NFC title always, game, but you're right, Doug. That wasn't the Super Bowl, but NFC yes. NFC title, yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. There's always, there's always these little plays. But the main thing I wanted to say was um, Andy Reid uh, got respectfully run out of Philly after, what, 10 years? Because mm-hmm. he couldn't win. You know, he couldn't win the big one. He had a, a quarterback who was capable enough uh, in McNabb, but he couldn't win the big one. He basically got respectfully run out. <laughs> he made a comment yesterday after the game that was really telling to me. He said, Patrick Mahomes sees things on the field and he comes back to the sideline and he tells me. And he sees some things that sometimes I don't see, and he makes the play. Okay? I think we shouldn't – I mean, Kyle could do better, but I, I think Kyle's got some time because Purdy's going to get better. He's, he was very good this year. He's going to get better. He's going to start seeing things instead of just kind of following the play that's supposed to be there. He's going to do more stuff like he did a couple of weeks ago with his legs. Uh, and he's gonna he's not gonna be Mahomes. But he's gonna be he's gonna be better and have a broader view of the game and maybe he'll help Kyle out a little bit in the future. I'd give Kyle a little bit more time because huh. we're 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 praising Andy Reid now like he's the greatest, you know, he couldn't win until he got this otherworldly player. Uh Doug, you're That's you're spot big. on yeah. and I the only Super reason Super Bowl or try again, yeah. Doug, well, is what we like to say around yeah. these parts. I do like to say it and by the way, I, I like don't you can blame me if you want for speaking it to existence, but that's exactly what this is. Anybody who is even thinking about Kyle Shanahan's job status, th- t- take take a, a take a seat in the back. Just wow. take a take a lap by the way first and then go take a seat take in the back. A lap. Seriously, seriously, take a lap. It's an absurd. Yeah. Absurd opinion. And by the way, let me add to it, because this was just brought up. You want to know what phrase I'm done with in sports? I'm done with it. And today's a great example. I'm done, and it's not just him. I don't want anybody using it for anyone, because it's just a a boring, lazy take. So-and-so can't win the big one. What does that even mean? What does it even mean? Do you honestly believe these people are suddenly different human beings when they get to the last one? Two weeks ago wasn't big. Three weeks ago wasn't big. We did it to Belichick. We did it to Andy Reid. We did it to Peyton Manning. We did it to John Elway. We're doing it to Kyle Shanahan. We're doing it to, we did it in the NBA, to those guys I brought up earlier, Patrick Ewing and Charles Barkley and all the people who We've done this too through the years. You can't win the. We did it to Tony Dungy. You can't win the big one. Yes, they can. Well, then do it. Well, but then they need the right scenario. That was the right scenario. Andy Reid's got the best player, and he never won without him, and now he's winning a bunch with him. Like, if you're going to make that point, you need to explain to me how this person, whoever's filling in that blank in this particular day, is a different player or coach when it comes to that last game. He's not different. Was, was Peyton Manning different in the Super Bowl? He finally was able to get it done. Yeah, and then he got another one after that. Right. And so, in a situation and, where he wasn't even a good player until anymore. You, until you get it done, it's fair to say that you can't win the big one. No, it's not. Of course uh, absolutely. he can. Absolutely. And he hasn't. He hasn't. He, hasn't. So, he let's, hasn't. so let's do that. He so, hasn't won the big well, one. Well, and I can say that he can't. And well, when he actually does it, it, I think it's a when lazy he take. does it, then, it's a lazy okay, take. yeah, you, you proved it. I, I don't think it's a lazy take at I'm all. He's 44 years I old. Think that he when can't you look win at the, the fact big that one? He's been in the Super Bowl now twice, and twice he's had a 10 point lead, and twice his team has been unable to I win mean, the game. So, this guy's you younger can call than Tom it lazy Brady. All you want, he's younger than Tom Brady. But. Yeah. He's younger than someone who played last year, and we're going to label him. I'm not just he can't, he win. can't win the his big one. His career is over. He can't do it. Nobody said that his career is well, over. Well, don't say he can't, because yes, he can. He hasn't done it, there so I go. can say that he so can't. He hasn't. He I can hasn't. believe what I want to believe. You can do whatever can, you want. Exactly. Like, I think it's a lazy take. Well, I, We've done this yeah. to so many people who okay. then prove us wrong. Right, and they we've can. done this to so many people who haven't proven oh, us wrong. I, I, who? So, who? 
Well, I mean, many coaches who haven't won the big one. Not the ones who were labeled Jim at Jim Harbaugh, he can't win the big one. I'm, he can't. He won a national championship Not the this Super Bowl. Year. <laughs> and he, he won the national championship I mean, uh, through a nefarious means. Uh, so you can... Nefarious you can, means? Yeah, they cheated. They spied on the opponent. What? How many times did they spy on the opponent? I've never heard He's you He's being get, investigated I, by the NCAA I've for I've never heard you get mad at Belichick. I've never I, heard you get mad at Brady. You didn't hear my, my shows when, uh, when they deflated yeah. the football? No. I, no, did I didn't. many, many hours on that. <laughs> Deflating the football. Cheating. Exactly. <laughs> and spying on the opponent. Absolutely. Here's such a ref. Everybody Whatever. cheats. Whatever. You can, Everybody cheats. Yeah. And you Who's can. not cheating? I mean. If you can, you want to look at Kyle Shanahan and say, you know, he he can win the big one. Sure, coach. he's a great. Coach. He's a great coach. He's a great coach. He was unable to get it done. Yep. for a second time. He is zero for two against the right. player. And he that may many, never have another chance to get back. You're there. right. I'd bet. I'd bet that he would. But you're obvious. Yeah, I hope that he's no that he way will. to know. He, they're the um, second favorites going into next yep. year. He is 0 for 2 against a guy that the majority of the public today are calling the greatest player of all time. So, okay, he can't win. Um, Greg in the city. Hi, Greg. What you doing? Hey, I'm just outside enjoying this breeze. Uh, I just had two things to speak about. One, you know, it was a great season, great game. And I would say we know what our weaknesses are, which is a positive note, because there's some teams out there that don't know where to begin to fix the situation. What do you think they are, uh, Greg? Greg, is, let's let's hear those. Yeah. What do you think they are? Uh, well, that's first thing is the whole line. We got to adjust the whole line. We got to, I don't know, free agent or do the draft. We got to fix the whole line, help Purdy out, give him some time for his situations like this occur. They want to rush him. They want to see that quarterback clock up. And uh, a little bad omen that we tend to think of in my side of this town is if you do a trick play in the first half, it never ends well for your team because it kind of puts the defense more to think what's going on, and it has the defense on their toes more. That's but interesting. It went out because we did get a touchdown. I don't know but about that. Yeah. Greg, is, I, I don't know. Is there data on that? That's, that's, I mean, that's an interesting comment. You do a trick play in the first half, it never works out well. What half was Philly special in? Eagles, Patriots. I thought that was in the second half. Feels like it was. Yeah. Feels like it was. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that. I liked it at the time. <laughs> Niners went up 10 nothing. I was right. not mad at it at the time. Well, it's their first touchdown, and they hadn't yep. been able to do much otherwise offensively. So I don't know. I don't know if there's data on a trick play as it pertains to the future success in that game. I don't know. I agree with him on the O line, though. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't have thought this until yesterday's developments. If I'm the 49ers, the biggest thing you need to figure out for next year now is who's the linebacker next to Fred Warner. Um, because Dre Greenlaw, I mean, we'll talk to Doc about this. I mean, he's he probably, he probably going to miss the whole year. He probably, yeah. I mean, I know Aaron Rodgers was like, oh, now it only takes four days. But, like, right? He hasn't played. Dre, right. Dre Greenlaw's probably going to miss the year. I would imagine yeah. it's I think six to nine months, and so here we sit. Maybe he's back by midseason. Uh, Philly special late second quarter. By oh, the way. Philly first special. Half. Yeah, about twenty something seconds to go. I just uh, punched it up the clip, so it's a late second quarter play. So, so a little works. bit of a mythbuster, yeah, yeah. yeah in that, terms of that, uh, that worked of that, yeah. Um, but but I I agree beyond the linebacker thing. Yeah, I think that the 49ers, um I think the 49ers need an offensive line that can pass block better than they do. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately, you don't have a first-round pick. So the idea of getting the tackle of the future in the first round, probably not going to happen. Don't know what happened with Trent Williams in uh, last night's game, but he had he had his worst game of the year and maybe his worst yeah. game as a Niner. 